Hey guys, welcome to Dula Tech Talk. In this short video, we're gonna go over this sucker, which is a simple, affordable shade system that we got off Amazon. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll show you how it works. guys know we do a ton of stuff on our dinghy we use it for exploring we use it for fishing and spear fishing and a lot of that time we have jetty with us and most of the time we're in like hot sunny places so she gets really hot we use a cooling vest and we soak it down with water and but anyway we've always wanted some shade on the boat and our good friend Tom suggested to try this thing out. So this is a Hobie, Hobie brand shade thing that we got off Amazon. It's meant for kayaks, but uh, we set it up to use on the dinghy and it's actually a really good affordable uh, shade solution for, for the dinghy. So there are a bunch of other shade solutions for dinghies, but a lot of them are pretty expensive. It's expensive canvas and stainless steel, uh, kind of bimini structure, and then you have to have special fittings that are glued with the special hypalon glue or pvc glue to attach them all to the dinghy and this is just something that's really simple and much cheaper than those uh solutions it's not perfect but um i'll let me show you how it works so they have a few different colors on amazon we just got this blue one and it seems to be all aluminum and it's got bungees inside so what we did was just we took a bunch of things that we had on the boat and it's pretty much just uh, one of these like tube holders uh, like probably for uh, a conduit or something like that and I bolted that onto our little storage compartment from the inside and then I also took some starboard and I just stacked them up and drilled a, a hole that fits the diameter of this sucker and uh, mounted it to the base of the dinghy. Now this is a double floor dinghy so it doesn't go through the bottom of the hull just goes through the floor section. We just put the tube into our little bracket and then down into the base. Holes just like tent poles, they just kind of plug into each other. Then this thing kind of pushes it open wide. There you go. And from there, whoa. We just take the little hooks and we can hook them here for like a higher tent. Or we've been putting them down here to make it a little more snug, a little bit of a lower shade option. They just hook right on. And then you can tighten the tension with these these suckers. Really, really simple. And then the last thing we do is just uh, buckle it up here. And then we can make it a little wider as well. go a little bit wider but I don't know if it's gonna work on this wind. Generally when we're on the dinghy fishing or spear fishing um, and the dinghy's anchored it's always facing into the wind. Same with the shade. The shade will always be facing into the wind. So there you go. Like I said it's not perfect. It's probably not as much shade as like those big biminis that a lot of dinghies have but it's something and it's really light and simple and portable and affordable. We've been testing out for a few weeks now. It's been working pretty good for us. So as of the time of this recording, it's only $188 on Amazon. It'll be really interesting to see how long it lasts. It seems like, yeah, the poles are aluminum. There's some stainless steel nuts and bolts. So as long as those are 316 or, or uh, high quality, even 304, they'll last a while, but they'll start to rust um, after a little bit. But as long as they're 316, they'll probably last a long time and hopefully not rust too quick. We generally don't use it when we're like cruising with the dinghy. We'll take it down and fold it up. And then once we get to our spot, we'll, we'll anchor the boat and then set it up and then 
That way we have some shade when we're fishing or just hanging out in the dinghy or if we're going slow and exploring the nooks and crannies of all the rock structure around here. These are probably about the windiest conditions we've had it up. Um, it's in the channel here, it's probably blowing like close to 20 knots, 15 to 20. And I'd say, I mean, the less wind with this thing, the better. I don't think it'd be amazing for winds much over 15 knots at all. Uh, maybe even that is pushing it a little. And again, it's not perfect. It doesn't have super high headroom, but you probably could mount it so that uh, the main pole is a little bit higher. Maybe it's mounted up here or something if you could figure out the leverage situation. And then you can, if it's a not windy day, you can allow these to come up a little and that'll raise the back up a bit. Um, and then one other thing that's been happening a little bit, especially on these breezy days, is because these clips are just, they're just kind of hooks, they, if the thing is like flapping around, they'll come unhooked from your attachment point. So you could probably rig it up with some sort of uh, other different type of clip that actually has a little latch that won't allow it to come up that easily. Like we've said already, this thing is made for kayaks. So it's not made to be like planing off at high speeds on dinghies. And it's, yeah, again, it's probably not made for super high winds, but, and it is made to be a little bit lower. Like it's made to mount on a kayak where you're just sitting down, not sitting up on a tube. So anyway, it's still, it's got its uses for us. Um, it's been working pretty well. Here's another option on how to attach the back of the canopy, just outboard on the handles of our dinghy. And it just pulls the whole back of the bimini a little bit wider and probably a little bit better uh, way to attach it on a wide dinghy where you want maximum surface area. It's not like a long skinny kayak. And yeah, that seems to work really well, even even in this breeze we have here today. So, hope you guys liked that video. Hope it was useful to you. Hope it just gave you an idea of an option for shade that you might be able to use on your dinghy. If you think something simple and, and affordable is more the way to go than like a more of a permanent like stainless steel structure with canvas. Uh, for some people that might be the way to go for sure, but um, I think for us it's a little bit better. Like we've said before, it's not that good in super windy conditions, but we're about to turn and go with the wind, so we'll test it out underway as we go with the wind. We're gonna take this sucker down. Tell me why. Well, we're turning into the wind now, and it's yeah, it's just not gonna be good in this much wind. Put those together. Take. We'll fold this up first. There you go. Hope you guys like that one. I'll link this in the description if you think it might be useful for you. Let us know in the comments what you think and we'll try to keep you up to date with like how this thing's holding up as we use it through the Caribbean here and when we get back to Florida. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments what you think. Let me know what other videos you might wanna see, any more technical boat videos or, or technical product videos and we'll try to do them for you. Oh yeah. This is in no way a sponsored video. Uh, Hobie doesn't know I'm making this. Uh, 
they, we're not even associated with Hobie besides the sunglasses. They, that's Hobie polarized, different branch of the company. Blah, blah, whatever. Uh, we went out of our way and we bought this for full price on Amazon with our own money. So, uh, yeah, no bias there the link in the description is our Amazon affiliate link so we do get a small commission if anything is bought through that link um, but in no no way directly related to Hovi so adios, adios.